ஸோ வணக்கம் நண்பர்களே நீங்கள் பார்த்துன்னு இருக்க சாம் காண்டு ஸோ இன்றைக்கி நம்ம பார்க்க போகிறோம் இன்றைக்கி என்ன நம்ம பார்க்க போகிறோன்னா வந்து த்ரீ டி பிரிண்டட் ஹவுஸ் ஸோ லைக் நம்ம த்ரீ டி பிரிண்டிங்கில் வந்து நார்மலாக நிறையா பார்த்துருக்கோம் நானே நிறையா பார்த்துருக்கேன் த்ரீ டி பிரிண்டிங் அவ்வளோ எனக்கு தெரியாது ஏன்னா நானே டிப்ளமோ அண்ட் பிரிண்டிங் டெக்னாலஜி தான் படிச்சிருக்கேன் ஸோ டிப்ளமோ ஸோ ஆனால் எனக்கு த்ரீ டி பிரிண்டிங்லாம் ரொம்ப பிடிக்கும் லைக் நான் பார்க்கும்போது எனக்கு லைக் அதில் நான் வந்து இதாக டிகிரி பண்ணலாம் கூட லைக் நான் நினச்சிருக்கேன் ஸோ இது வந்து வீடே த்ரீ டியில் கட்டுறாங்களான்னும் போது லைக் எனக்கு கொஞ்சம் ஷாக்கிங்காக தான் இருக்குது சார் நம்பலை லைக் அது பண்ண முடியுமா லைக் ரியலான்னு சொல்லிட்டு அது வந்து எப்படின்னா ட்வெண்ட்டி ஒன் டேஸ்லேயே கட்டுறாங்க வீடு அது வந்து சேஃபாக என்ன மாதிரி கட்டுறாங்க ஸோ ஃபாரினில் இருக்குது இப்போ வந்து ஐஐடி மெட்ராஸில் வந்து அது வச்சுருக்காங்க லைக் நிறைய பேர் தெரிஞ்சிருக்கலாம் தெரியாமல் இருந்துக்கலாம் ஸோ லைக் சரி அது இப்படி தான் பண்ணுறாங்க என்ன பண்ணுறாங்க சொல்லிட்டு நான் ரியாக்ட் பண்ணலான்னு பார்க்கலான்னு இருக்கேன் அவங்க கூட உட்காந்து ஸோ அப்படி நான் ஸ்டேட்டாக வீடியோக்குள்ளே போயிடலாம் போகலாம் ஒன் டூ த்ரீ போடுங்க Faced with a desperate need to construct more homes faster and in a more efficient way, countless innovators have found themselves drawn by the idea of being able to quickly print a structure and have spent years trying to scale the technology. But for all their efforts, that 3D printed world has proven elusive and many impressive prototypes have struggled to become viable for mass production. But things have just taken a massive step forward in Germany with the completion of the first ever 3D printed home to become fully certified under a national government's building regulations. The impact of this moment for construction and for the buildings we all use could be huge. Ah safe are the matter the 3D printed house will change the world in one regard. Is it safe bro? Oh With the promise of cutting waste, reducing time on site and addressing labor shortages, some see 3D printing as the answer to many of our world's challenges. Originally used for small scale prototypes, advances in 3D printing have led to the creation of full scale structures like bridges and homes and even plans for mankind's first Martian base. But while 3D printed structures have appeared around the world from Canada and the Netherlands to Dubai, which wants to 3D print a quarter of its new buildings by 2030, the technology is yet to take off as a widespread building technique. Oh, it's a cement that cutra, right? But the completion of this 3D printed house in Beckum, Germany is set to change everything. Developed by leading formwork and scaffolding firm Perry, experts in its disruptive products and technologies department and its project partners The structure, a detached single family property, is the first 3D printed house in Germany and offers 160 square meters of living space across its two stories. Wow. Critically, the structure is the first 3D printed building in Germany to become certified with a national building accreditation, smashing a major barrier and paving the way for larger, more complex projects. Located just outside the city of Ulm, Perry's team is now working on the largest 3D printed multi-family house in Europe with 380 square meters of living space divided into five apartments across three levels. Whoa. So, how did Perry get into the world of 3D printing? Yeah, so that, like give it a go from Perry we have let's let's call it a think tank, uh, it's a department called yeah, Disruptive three, Products and Technologies and they think about projects or products and technologies that might uh, substitute our current core products that might endanger our business model in this department so various ideas are always thrown around and actually actively pursued so it's not just a monitoring uh, department and one of the topics uh, if even years ago was uh, 3d construction printing when we um, build up the printer on a construction site directly on the site and we start printing there that was um a moment for me which i where i realized that we are printing that on site and um, people will live in there so that was for me um a moment where I really said ah la riyala la safe ah makkala irukka mudiyuma riyala ulla in a lot of bayama irukadala it could happen in in real the homes were both built days with cobalt's modular no, no, board no, 2 printing yeah, system a flexible platform that can be scaled to suit projects of varying size 
The printer needs just two operators and takes less than 48 hours to set up on site. Once up and running, the system can print as fast as a meter per second using data from integrated design models. Ooh, the slip, bro. There's obviously there's been a lot of firms uh, around the world that have done this, a lot of research teams of 3D printed buildings over the years, and there's been kind of you know different levels of excitement around it. Why isn't it widespread? Why isn't this just the way that we build all of our buildings? 3D printing really affects the overall construction process. It has impact on the planning side, execution of the walls, but also on other trades and, and the planning and permitting, all, all of these things come into play here. The buildings that we've seen across the globe actually have seen a steady increase in, let's say, validity. Um, so the first ones have been basically kind of big 3D printed flower pots where all the other trades have been thrown in there, but nobody's really thought about how to be integrated into the Maybe sometimes in the news and media that hasn't been, it's always been portrayed like everything was perfect, but uh, obviously this has been a steady learning curve, and now we feel like we've hit another milestone where we've now been able to execute these projects. What Perry have done in Germany with this building, how is that different to what we've seen before in Dubai, the Netherlands, you know, many kinds of other places? We wanted to do real world architectural scale permitted residential buildings um, so we've done lots and lots of tests um, to to get this german building permit and we have one of the toughest building codes around so that's that's quite a milestone to get these completely normally permitted residential homes and that's i think where the, where the core difference lies I have included project partners from the start. We are working directly with a construction company. We are working directly with architects, which don't want just to make a demo project. It's a real project um, where um, later people will live in. It's a, a project where um, the investors get um, rents out every month. So it's something which um, will be used and the other thing is, um, I guess, the, the, the speed and the size. Now it's the, the, actually the biggest 3D printed um, building in Europe. Wow. Perry also engaged a number of the core trades on these projects. A critical hurdle that few other 3D printed buildings have attempted to cross. With services and other works already coordinated with the structural design, errors on site are almost completely eradicated, saving time, money and waste material. While the savings may be modest here, they'd soon add up across an entire estate or housing development. What kind of real-world savings have you seen on, on this project so far? There's really this integration of, of other trades has a huge impact. Um, so we've had the electrician come into one of these buildings and he walks around and says, well, guys, you know, I'll, I'll be saving up to like 12 days in here. Um, so we, we are saving a lot of labor in other trades because there's in the, in the buildings we're executing, there's not going to be a single slot that has to be cut. Nobody's going to have to drill a hole for a power outlet. Though the design of these buildings may feel relatively straightforward when compared to some of today's architecture, the team are using the lessons learned to construct larger structures in a variety of forms. With German building certifications now on their belt, the team are planning more projects using different materials and with a focus on further reducing waste. But while there is cause for optimism, we're still some way from the widespread uptake of 3D printing, and several challenges remain not least breaking into a traditionally conservative industry. I mean, securing German building certification is a, is a huge step for you guys and a huge step for the world of 3D printing. What kind of other challenges and barriers are there on the way between where we are now and this being the way we build our homes, buildings, offices? Well, it's a lot about educating people, really, um, to know, you know, it's, it's a different type of, of planning a building. Um, it's different for the contractor, it's different for the electrician, it's, it's different all around for everybody involved. Mm -hmm. So all these trades now have to learn a, how to cope with this technology and how to make the best of it, not be threatened by it, but to to see the potential it can have for these individual traits and make their life easier and make construction more safe and more efficient. Um, oh, that's 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 a spot for all the other conventional construction techniques who are also evolving. So uh, 3D printing will play a very important role. We are convinced of that. Um, but this educational diffusion process into the market will still take some time. Would you live in a 3D printed house? Oh, 
Of course. <laughs> <laughs> right away, I, I'd be all over the design of that. Um, I mean, just I having get round shapes, little, uh, which are also way more sustainable than the weird rectangles we, that we build right now. Um, definitely, and you know, we, we've tested all of it, so we know that it's very, very stable. While the technology oh has had its challenges, the, the success of Perry's project in Germany marks a major step forward and will stand as a powerful case study for innovators, the innovators, innovators, rekindling the determination to make this building technique an unparalleled scale. That 3D printed world we've imagined has just moved one huge step closer to becoming real. This video was made possible by Perry. Learn more at the link below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and would like to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, subscribe to the B1M. <laughs>